So this dimension is called. I was teaching, I think at the beginning of the year, and uh, I stitched half of this design, 50%. I even I made a back stitch, and um, I want to show you the threads. There are not too many colors comparing to other designs from Dimensions Gold. Very, very little. And also, you can see you have very little left, but there are lots of other threads on additional uh, organizer. Well, without organizer, they put some threads uh, here, and if more than, like, look this side here, how many? More than 10, then they put separately on smaller organizers. Like here, I do that stuff by myself, uh, I twist them by myself, but um, they're not fit on all of them on organizer. Usually they come like this. Everything ruined now. <laughs> um, depends on how many strains you use in uh, your design, but uh, usually it's like that. Leftovers are always uh, organized this way. One second, second, one second. So in the future, when I want to find something, it will be easier for me and they will not uh, destroy, will be destroyed like this and uh, I will find colors quickly. Uh, black threads I'm using now in uh, Veronica and uh, here more black threads. So instead of having this, I organize them this way and it's much better. For now, I cannot do this. Uh, the, the system I cannot do the same one because I'm using these threads and um, yes uh, you have to pay attention if you have dimensions from uh, Chinese kit or from kit made in United States colors could be different for example this one is 17051 can be completely different with a thread which is made in the United States. Uh, just pay attention for the future if you want to stitch something with leftovers and let's say it's in a horse, the horse can be different colors. And um, you can still use an American threads and threads from uh, Chinese kids. Uh, if you, let's say, stitch something on a tree blue and something on the roof as long they are far away and if you can see they're a little bit different color they're not completely different color they will still be blue blue gray but uh, the difference will be uh, noticed by people who are not even stitcher just uh, pay attention for your threads i have many many people asking me uh, to show how I start my dimensions kit, I will. Just now I don't have anything to start. Uh, I did show in my previous videos how I unpack design, how to work with the key and all that stuff. It's very, very easy, but if you want me to repeat this kind of video, I will. I just don't want to make the same work again. I have to find it somewhere in my videos and maybe I will leave somewhere in the description box. Okay, while we were talking, <laughs> reorganize these threads, but the, it will be mess again. Um, I usually do braids, but um, here are very little threads, so I don't know, no point of it. I just prefer to uh, brush them once in a while so you don't have this but even if you have messy threads you still can can work just once in a while just brush them and you will be fine no need even to do braids but it's easier when you have braids okay just little work with the key in case i have new people who are watching me uh, we will go through the key um, I use my original uh, chart, but it's all in this way because I stitched this area already and it's uh, going away. 
and uh, sometimes I change colors of my marker because I want to count how many uh, crosses I managed to stitch during this period of time or during this day, whatever. Um, depends on my mood. Sometimes I use the same. You see, I use Kim organize uh, Kim's needle minders, but I put some other magnet on the back so it will be stronger. Otherwise. They just for the pretty reason I love them so much, but uh, to use them, mm -mm, it's very hard. I love this kind of needle minders; they are much better quality. So, again, in case you wondering how to work with dimensions kit, even you have whatever kit made in China or in uh, United States, they key pretty much the same. And first of all, you can see number of the threads on the left side, on the left column. And uh, if you work with your organizer, you can find, for example, 12. I'll show you closer. This is a copy of the key because the key is on the back side and I cannot use a chart when I'm stitching, I have to turn. So if you have a chance to make a copy of your working key, do it. Okay, this is 12. Uh, three three five right and it's e and here you can see two what does it mean first of all read the color red be patient and triple check 12 three three five red okay to uh, uh, for the future for you to find easy 12 three three five you're looking for red right because you all can read english it's easier for you than for russian speaking people but even they can stitch these dimension kits without problems they even learn uh, name of the colors by working with dimension kit which is funny so immediately we're looking at the whole organizer and catching with our eyes where is the red color red color here so we pull the thread one or two. I prefer to pull one and you just fold it and then make a hoop. I'll show you because you have to use two strains of thread. It's written there too. So you take it out. You pull it from your organizer two. I took one thread, but because I will make two strains of it. And I'm using the hoop method. Sometimes, not always, depends if it's two, four, six. Well, six I'm not using, but two and four I do use hook method. And um, where is the needle here quickly? So you can see it. Now we have two. And I start stitching full crosses because here is the symbols for the cross full cross and here half cross half cross you do here halfway of the cross this is half crosses this is half this is full this is full cross and this is half stitch and this is how you work with the key sometimes you have let's say letter M and this symbol, same color, it just letter M with two strains, you use it for cross and this is half stitch with four. Or just F with five, this is not full cross. And notice that most of the time, 95% I would say, dimension kit, they do not have full crosses with three strains of thread. Usually it's two or one. Uh, half crosses could be two, one, two, three, four, five, six. It depends. Also, there are blends in dimensions kits. There are blends which you have to combine. For example, this part is missing because I did a copy of by myself. But uh, here you can see on top cross stitch and color okay this is half stitch this is full cross and when you see something like that it means you have blend so you take one thread 
from 13.075 and black one, one black, 18, 4 or 3. And you make the blend. And for example, this one, I have it, this one is ready. You take two threads of 17, 110 and 6163, gray blue, three of them. You mix them and you have blend. And this blend is right here because I was just teaching with this. The sun came out a little bit harder for me to focus. So this is the blend you have here. Half crosses, again, mind that there are no crosses with five strands of thread. And here I have it on my organizer. I will show you how this blend look like. Already made it. Two light blue and three dark blue. This is a blend and you do have crosses with that. I uh, would always advise you to have this kind of organizers. They are made in China, lots of them you can buy on AliExpress. There are lots of you can buy on Etsy, on eBay, on your local store. But this for me is the best organizer because you can put your threads here and when let's say letter H finished, you can no need to go back to the key. You will already uh, remember everything, no need to put, pull something from other organizer. It's saving your time so much and you will progress. I, I definitely can say I progress um, not 50% faster, but I do stitch much faster than I ha when I have organizer. You can also use uh, other organizers you can find in your local store. But if something similar to this, get it and you can even make it by yourself. Just take a sponge and you can write symbols there and just pick your needles there. But this one will last you for at least 10 years if you look properly. I have some organizers from 2015. It was my first organizer. It's still alive. I'm still using it and I still use it. So then you prepare, when you prepare everything on your On your organizer uh, usually start from the center then you don't have to count you will not have any mistakes and if your design is this way it's not full quarter uh, you have to place your fabric the same way not like that because you will not have enough fabric you have to place your fabric this way obviously if you have a quarter you don't have to look for the fabric just start from the center and then you look on a chart letter e my red thread you remember letter e and you count from the center how far it is usually try to find something where is in the center again i'll show you one more time to separate video this is just a quick video for people who were asking me on instagram and um, you start stitching and stay next to, uh, don't jump from here to there because you will miscount. If you have here letter E, next one will be this and just make it like a snowball, more and more and more. Uh, in my case, I'm stitching now second part of the design. And let me pull my joints. I did not know the sun will be now because Spend too much time doing lots of other stuff. <gasps> and then we have to travel soon, so I don't want to uh, leave you without the video. I hope this way you will see better. If not, I'll check and I will move my camera to another side. So, this is so much I stitch without you. No, I don't like the... the I don't like uh, the sun here in my camera. I have to move, guys. One second. Okay, guys, I moved to another window. I think here it will be better because the sun will not hit my face and you can see it better. So my plan is to stitch this area where is my hoops are. And um, as I go, I usually do back stitch. So when I move my hoops, I don't go, have to go back and stitch there again. And uh, the only thing I don't stitch on hoops, it's according and French knots because they can be damaged by hoops, even some 
women try to show that your French nose not really hurting by hoops. I still prefer to do that when your work is washed, when uh, uh, you iron your piece, uh, when everything basically done. Um, cording as well because um, it's uh, not flat. <laughs> It's coming out of your work and um, beads I don't add while I'm stitching as I go. The rest I do as I go, my co coaching and uh, backstitch I do. Um, the second part of this design is mostly half crosses. Yes, will be some backstitch but I think it will go faster than the first one. And, um, I don't know. We'll see. It seems like it will be easier to stitch than this part because here was uh, horse people. This area basically nothing, and trees usually stitch very fast. Um, I was just talking to my Russian followers about me changing my projects before. I never used to do that, and I ask myself why do I have to do that. Sometimes you question yourself because. Especially me, when we are moving from one place to another one, it's disappointed to see all this uh, amount of uh, hoops, uh, Q-snaps and everything. You know, like I'm really tired to have all that stuff and uh, I have to be better and work with myself. But sometimes I just have to have few uh, whips because um, I realize I, f I stitch faster when I have a um, few designs. For example, some area here. I will be bored and I already got tired a little bit from the colors of the um, designs and there are lots of designs where you use only one color or five colors um, or you just get tired from Ada or stuff like that and the best way for me to have few designs for example up to five one is dimensions one is uh, sampler another is mirabilia just then and stuff like that you stitch much faster this way and um, it's it's better you don't uh, get uh, disturbed by uh, phone by stuff like that when i see i'm bored i start looking at the phone checking instagram do some cleanings in the house everything but not stitching and it's really quite annoying because I don't want to waste my time. Yes, I know I, I can't be productive 100% all the time, but uh, just now I was uh, stitching my Dana's roses in the very beginning. I had so much power to stitch, I did not even sleep enough. And I did not uh, really have it for maybe five years. The last time I forgot the, uh, when I had this patient to stitch and uh, I was really shocked. I thought it will never ever happen again because when you need to cross stitch you usually have so much motivation, you're interested, you want to try all the threads, all the uh, hoops, Q-snap, frame, scroll frame, another stand and stuff like that. But when you try everything and you quite uh, understand what you're doing and start being bored and stitching just one project especially when it's huge well i would say dimensions it's a big size of uh, design and uh, you will need at least three months to stitch it on average two three months depends how much free time you have to stitch and um, Yes, I've, I've noted that if I stitch, let's say, Mirabilia and Dimensions same time, I will be more productive. And um, yeah, I like it this way because uh, you have completely different feelings. I don't know, first time I'm stitching few Mirabilias and few Dimensions and uh, it's, it's not the best way for me to do it. I prefer to have one Dimensions kit and one Mirabilia. But things just happened that I started lots of projects in 2018 and um, I sometimes want to stitch something new, something else, because it's been a few years since I started, it was in 2018, so I still will uh, work 
for design so start in 2018 and I have about maybe 12 to finish the um, kimono I finished also was from 2018 and this one as well I'm gonna be done this year for sure I'll try uh, another mirabilia very ideal but uh, I'm not sure if I will be able to finish it I will try and there are very few will be left uh, and uh, some of them just touched by me by my needle and uh, I don't really call them a whip they just start everything was organized there everything sorted I just need to start stitching it and uh, I don't call it whip because there is only 10 crosses or 200 crosses it's not really whip for me when the design is quite big so here, uh, if you look at Veronica, I did some progress. I just wanted to show you how it looks without hoops. Where is my chart? Guys, give me just one second. Uh -huh. Oh, it's here. I found it. Here is Veronica. What I like about this design that here is very few uh, colors. So it doesn't take my whole pack organizer. It's just half of it and the other half I use for um, Lanarte. If you look at the key here, it's not that big. It seems like big, but it's not. Uh, there are some blends you have to be careful about because it's not often. When you stitch Mirabilis, there is no uh, Karen, just one Krennic and that's it. And there is and this DMC metallic thread, I don't have it original, I'll change it for another one, DMC. But if you look here, I was just talking about it. This is, this design of Helium, it's done, I just need to add beads. And it looks more modern to me. Even this design, I can have it in my room, everything is fine. But this is more fun to place it in, the, even in the living room. I think it will, um, Nora nowadays she's designing um, her mirabilia, which is, uh, will work for every design in your apartment or house or whatever, and I like it about it. So, these two mirabilia, my uh, potential finishes this year, and I have to do lots of work uh, to finish them. Even Aphelia is fully done with crosses, just need beads. And I have great news. My extra pack arrived. I don't know if it's the store gave to me this bead. I hope it's which will send it to my store, but I'm extremely happy to receive it before we leave because I will pack it with myself and I will add these beads to my Aphelia. Thank you very much. I'm better now, but still it's very frustrating when you have your bead pack and something is missing there, like what's the point? I could have bought, I could have bought uh, all that stuff I need a long time ago without headache, especially when you pay for it, right? And I have one clinic for, or clinic, Karen, for new mirabilia I just received with this, with this uh, pack of beads, this is Twisted Mermaid, I just received it yesterday. And yesterday was 5th of September. This is how long it takes for us to receive our stuff. And people already started stitching new Mirabilia. I still did not finish Aphelia and I sti still did not even sort the threads for this one. But I'm not sure if I stitch it this year. But, um, basically, I think I don't need another start of Mirabilia. Even I have fabric for this Twins Mermaid. I check here, lots of cranic. Well, for Mirabilia, it's a lot of cranic, and I only have one. Karen, maybe I have others in my stash, I did not check yet. But this is the key for Twisted Mermaid. It's 176, 177 now. Can you believe it soon will be 200? <laughs> oh. Yeah. So I'm relieved now, I got it on time and it's only been how many months since <laughs> Aphelia came out, I only received her um, bits now.
in the now order right away. But what can we do? So just wanted to show you the fabric. It's uh, pictures is plus and it's gray, green, blue with the sparkles. I'm playing with it so you can see the color. And I think Veronica looks amazing on it. Just gorgeous. I uh, love her dress, her Karen or Karen Kranik and her bits will be just gorgeous when it will be done. But this is so far a stitch. I could have continued her, but I think I need to change. I felt I needed to change uh, design because I was like, oh, I'm getting tired. So much stuff here. Look, first of all, I stitch lots of uh, background with, uh, not background, I call it background when I stitch uh, design. with lots of same crosses here and there. Uh, let's say this area was more fun to stitch than right here. This is the most boring area I think to stitch. And this one was fun. I just turned TV and I was watching some stuff. I just stitched with black. <laughs> Nothing else. It's the easiest. But sometimes you really get tired. Look how much black you will need. So prepare all your black threads for this design. And now I would like to show you some purchases I made. Today I have a uh, good mood to make videos, so <laughs> let me talk about my purchases. Also, I got them yesterday. I have to go to the post office twice because they sent me notification that my parcel arrived. And uh, I gave them like one hour to unpack, to sort everything. I usually do that in case they won't be able to... Because they just scan your big box of your parcels and then they uh, sort in it. But it was Sunday and uh, the, I came to <laughs> post office, it was not ready, it wasn't packed, but it's okay, it's right next to my house and I can go there again. Um, when I stitch sometimes a lot and I want to have a break, I go to the post office. So, you probably know this design, if you are a big fan of Hands Across the Sea, it was in a package, I just took it out for you to see without the glare. Sarah Brazier. Brazier. I forgot, I was just watching <laughs> a video of uh, Nicola Parkman with uh, Fiber Talk. I always call her Brazier, but I think it's Brazier. Anyway, <laughs> I'll work on it, don't worry. And I found this um, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, chart in Stitches Paradise. I'm super happy that they have it and I'm gonna stitch it for sure because it was in my wish list. I just did not know they have it. And my friend was there and I asked her to make <laughs> video for me of charts they have. Um, I was hoping they have Lucy because I'm looking for Lucy as well but they did not have Lucy. Uh, so uh, Lucy on eBay is more than $60, 67 plus shipping, plus taxes, plus another shipping, so it will be pricey, but if I will not uh, find it, I will get it on eBay. And uh, yeah, this is, was basically the reason why I made an order in the store, and um, this is a limited edition and special edition. Mm, my my cross stitch friend, I could say, uh, she has also a channel on a Russian floss tube. She finished it, and uh, it's gorgeous. It's I I think I watched that video three times, and uh, she stitched it on thirty six count. It's super big. I'll be stitching on forty count, and um, I just will prepare myself for such a big big design. It will be. Maybe next year we'll see how it will go because I have to finish. I think I just started another uh, Sarah Doe's, and uh, maybe this will be after Sarah next design. I'm not sure about it uh, because another uh, Russian floss tuber is gonna start it anytime soon. And uh, if I will get tired just seeing it, because I cannot not to watch their videos, of course. I then uh, will wait for some time and I will start stitching it. But there are lots of lots of beautiful designs from Hands Across the Sea. 
And I like the, the story you can read here and uh, the details, the chart itself. I think it's a murder to stitch from the chart, from the original booklet. You have to make a copy and also it will be more comfortable let's say for me because i place my um, chart on the uh, hoops and that is how i stitch i cannot put the whole book there you know especially when you open it like this to place it uh, on um, hoop it will be hard but this is how this design looks like it smells Mm, it smells so good because it's still new. It was in a package and uh, I'm really happy to have it in my hands right now. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm a lucky stitcher to have this design. I will uh, get some more from Hands Across the Sea. Maybe I will be not able to stitch them all in my life, but just to have that story. And uh, this is like my inspiration books have it in your hands and I already have quite a collection. I'm really happy about it. So, yes, this is a big, big thing for me. Next design I purchased, it was Mary Wolves. So I miss it in one of the um, sales in uh, Ukrainian online stores. I like it uh, very much because uh, you know, some people ordering and we have a Viber group. Uh, it's like a WhatsApp group. If you don't know, uh, in Ukraine, nobody use uh, WhatsApp. Everyone using Viber, which is a little bit annoying me, but fine. Um, so in that group, the owner of the store, she created it for her customers. And you can see some people just putting on some uh, pictures of their purchases and uh, you can get inspired or you can um, see something new you have not seen before and sometimes people order and they um, maybe change their mind because it was uh, coming to Ukraine for six or one year sometimes uh, and they change their mind and uh, she will put some items there and you can see pictures you can get right away you don't need to wait right so this uh, design was in that list of uh, designs which was available to buy it right now and because i got it already a few and i have limit i cannot buy all all the samplers in one month or in one time and um, i miss it then after few weeks I asked her do you still have it and she said no people already got it and I went mm, okay but then when I saw it in Stitcher's Paradise I decided to get it because uh, I was buying the Sarah Brazier and uh, Mary Wills was her friend in a puzzle <laughs> and also oh, let me show you the key the key is here oh, actually it was Scissor fob. One second. The scissor fob was here as well inside. I just took it out. I want to use it for some uh, scissors. And it's so soft. I bet it's made it out of silks for sure. And I love the color. The color is gorgeous. So uh, I like when the, the Nicole used to put this uh, little reminder or um, um, book. You know that you use for the book, not bookkeeper. <laughs> anyway, forget about it. But I like this uh, extra piece because you can always see the key and uh, yeah, not too many colors here, but uh, you can stitch it with DMC or Swadalshi and one of uh, 103 uh, threads. And uh, I will definitely stitch it on either 36 or 40s. I like this. Samples on 40s and 37 is good as well. We'll see which fabric I will get. Probably my friend will uh, dye them for me and uh, maybe it will be in between 36 and uh, 38 uh, because she dyes 36 and then it shrinks a little bit and who knows. But this is also amazing sampler. Uh, you can also use these details to bookmark guys <laughs> bookmark you can make a bookmark you know why because i was looking at this part i love books 
I like this so much. I love reading. It's my other hobby. And you can use this part, for example, to make yourself a bookmark or even this one. How amazing it will be. I mean, this is what I would like to stitch in the future. Or you can turn this flowers and make one after another one, uh, make another bookmark, or you can use it for something else. But as I said, even I will never stitch, which I have lots of doubts in my head, <laughs> that, that um, I definitely would love to stitch this design. It will look amazing, amazing on your wall. So happy about it. So another purchase was a Scarlet House. I just realized Guys, I was thinking it's the same Scarlet Letters and Scarlet House. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. That this is completely different uh, designs. Uh, I mean, I thought it's the same owner. She just made some parts Scarlet House and Scarlet Letters. But it appears it's different companies. I really confused now because Scarlet Letters with one letter T and um, they are more antique. Uh, and they do not update their charts. I mean, they do them in the same shape, as I notice. And the thing is, Scarlet House, you can order from one to three stitch and it will be delivered either to Ukraine or another country, but uh, Scarlet Letters are only shipped inside the United States. And this is a big problem for us because you cannot order them. Well, I can. I can use my friend's address and no problem for me but other people they do struggle with that and i think it's really bad for the business because people could really purchase more than but maybe they had bad experience i don't know why they don't want to ship it outside of united states anyway the scarlet house i've seen many many times uh, on uh, walls of the teachers usually from the united states but there is one um, I will leave you a link in, on, uh, for Instagram for one Asian uh, lady. She stitched such amazing samplers and I just adore her profile on Instagram. I'll leave you a link and you will see this design. I think it was stitched. And I do love this um, fabric better. I mean, I would not stitch it on the original legacy linen or maybe it's just a picture doesn't show everything but i don't like the white uh, on, for this sampler i do love this more in between i would like to have it lighter because i think this is original picture of uh, a sampler and uh, yeah I like this little story but i wish it was more maybe it is inside i did not check the chart yet but uh, you can stitch it either in needle point silks or in dmc it's your choice but i would love to stitch it on a for discount and it will be gorgeous when it will be done i do love lots of designs from scarlet house it's not my first chart i do still have in my wish list and i'm gonna get more of it so Another purchase, Christmas Biscarnu. I think it's my seventh design I bought it because sometimes I find it on eBay. I buy it for myself all the time, but if I overspend money for uh, charts, uh, supplies and stuff like that, then I sell something. And I think it's my seventh chart. I was like, and I, I needed some money for my cross stitch this month because I spent a little bit and I was like should I sell it I like I I, I scared now that I will never find this chart ever again because here are some unique uh, buttons and um, you know all about Swarovski story that they might be discontinued and it will be hard to find and yeah, I just love this Biscornu, it's so pretty. The only thing I don't like the tail uh, fabric for it. I would love to have either dirty linen or um, maybe gray green, maybe um, just original linen color, the regular one, but it's gorgeous. I just don't like this part. I think it's 
they were using it for the Christmas tree as an ornament, but I definitely will not make it for my biscarnu. So beautiful, so pretty, and I'm terrified to sell it because I'm scared that <laughs> I'll never find it again. And it's long time out of print. Yes, so I'll keep it for myself. But there are some stuff I sold already. I just have to go to the post office. I'm a little bit late. But I'm going now to post office. Just want to make video. And then, uh, this is such a beautiful whimsy. And I really want it for myself. But guys, the amount of cross which I have already, it's just ridiculous. It's so much. And I'm going to give it to people who need it maybe more on their wrist they will stitch it faster and this is the other one design i really like so much maybe one day i'll find them it will be great for your um, table for your cross stitch room look how pretty it is and it's also really hard to find but it's quick stitch it's in between big projects you can always have fun and stitch it Look at this design. I have a uh, center with this angel. And uh, yeah, there is also whimsy. This is little bits for this design. And this one probably will be for me. There is a uh, center also with this charm, which I sold already. But I'm gonna stitch it, I'm gonna get it again. It's still on a bay, you can get it. Um, I think that's it for cross stitch. I show you everything, not too many stuff, but I wanna share with you some perfumes I have. I'm using now because I like to change my perfumes. I have Bulgari. One second, I'll show you. So, guys, we are at the airport. As you can see, I have my cross stitch, of course. <laughs> Of course, I have my cross stitch and documents and whatever is in my bag. We are waiting for our flight. We're just walking around because I always come a little bit early to the airport. Paul hates it, but I don't like to be late. So, yeah. Ibiza. I'm at the hotel. I have a couple of hours to do whatever I want to. So I decided to add beads. I first wanted to stitch, but then I said no. I have uh, beads. I have everything for this project because to stop my even travel project, I need uh, to find lights. I need. I have everything I brought with me, but this is the best time to beat when you traveling when you the hotel i don't know if i will have time to do another job uh, like stitching but uh, for now i'm enjoying beats and uh, this is the way i organize i sit and i uh, put on my lap uh, towel uh, i put some beads i'm using now currently i don't want to put all these beads because i don't know if i'll use them all today I mean, maybe tomorrow I will use something else, I will um, add them, but uh, not to have messy uh, room and not to have uh, beads uh, on the floor, I uh, organize everything as I go. So for now I'm using two uh, type of beads. This is the one I have additional one just came to Ukraine. And this is the one I need to add as well. So two different kinds of beads. They look the same, but they are not. Even you can see the difference when they're laying on a towel. It's very comfortable to take your bead and put it on a needle when it's on the towel. So, as always, I'm using this thread. And it lasts me, I don't know how many years. It's uh, very, very good. Uh, bobbin 
which will save you lots of money because you buy it and you can use it for many 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 projects just uh, there are some difficulty in using it but i still like it very much next thing i want to talk about scissors so i have two pairs of scissors traveling uh, with me one is you can use it on a plane but i did not because i was tired it was late flight not enough light and uh, i wanted to read so i read enough now i can stitch also i recommend you to put this top over your uh, scissors because you know uh, during traveling many many things can happen and uh, this will protect your scissors if you will just uh, put it on i had it um, together with other pair of needles um, scissors uh, i think ginger one and i wanted to take these scissors uh, just took the cover and i put it on which is great i also have my uh, traveling bags i have three of them one is for a uh, bidding project another with uh, lamps and a third bag uh, actually file with my cross stitch and my hoops so i have my key and i have to add all these beads to my mirabilia let's see how long it will take me i'm ho hoping that it will be done by the time we leave because we are here for two weeks guys so let me enjoy my stitching and i will show you how much i have done very very soon so this is my uh, final stitches on this uh, project bag which i purchased in paris in 2019 i decided enough i have to stitch it because who knows maybe we'll go to paris again i still didn't finish what i purchased that time so this is the ends of this uh, ribbon and uh, they advise you just to make it this way which is not really uh, accurate i decided to uh, frog the side so this is a hole and i'm gonna and uh, i'm gonna put this ribbon there and then i just stitch back and it will look much better to me and uh, this all i stitch by hand very very nice i like the end result also i forgot to stitch eyes for this asian uh, girl and uh, i also have to attach these scissors so it will be somewhere right here I'm really excited because I love this project. It's very quick. You can stitch when you are on vacation or when you don't want to see it or whatever it is. Uh, lots of threads left. I will show you in the end of the video. As well, I add this toss. And um, I wanted to tell you about this part. So this is a thread which is going from the spool to the needle here and on a chart it looks like that so and i did stitch it for the first time as you can see like triangle but it's not uh, right because um, well there is uh, something great here to make better tension for your thread when you uh, stitch and um, it could be this way but because nothing here on the chart we don't see anything so it looks a little bit weird and so i decided to look at preview which i supposed to do it in the first place but i was following the chart and here it looks straight so i restitch it and i think it's uh, better now um, as you can see here they stitch the ribbon not really by the end but uh, they left some space. I do not really like it. I want it to be right on a, this side. But if something will be visible, it's fine because this is handmade somewhere. I also have to iron it and then it will be better. I hope I did not forget anything else and everything is okay. Guys, thank you, thank you very much for my uh, latest video feedback. 
It's really nice to read all your words. I always love receiving comments more than anything. And uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you. And uh, I'm stitching now, as you can see, and watching some YouTube videos, not cross stitch. I am um, still a little bit uh, in uh, Spain in my mind. <laughs> and I, I will watch uh, later all the cross stitch video. I miss a lot, a lot, a lot of them. But uh, I just needed a rest from cross stitching from videos from everything and sometimes it's good to have uh, some detox and yeah just wanna show my face that um, I really appreciate all your words seriously and uh, while we were traveling I finished Ophelia almost finished her because I uh, had a working copy and I threw away and I noticed that some uh, bits were missing. Uh, I was trying to find online how to stitch it, just to see, because I had to add just this area, but I could not see it properly. So I have to wait when I will come back home and just finish it. And I pierce, I forgot some crosses while I was adding bits. I always do that. So when my Ophelia show you chart many many times but just in case it's 175 for failure um, yeah so when I finish my projects when I have to make B when I have to add B's or whatever I am always looking again at my work sometimes I forget some crosses and whatever because I did not bring all DMC threads with me I only brought um, beads I could not finish everything so Again, I spent like half a day finishing her because somewhere I forgot back stitch, like here and there. Then I forgot, I, I saw some single crosses missing and whatever I do, I always, always forget. I'm trying to be very, very um, careful, but this back stitch I forgot. So if you haven't stitched Ophelia yet and you're planning to stitch her mind that there are back, back stitch here with one thread, uh, thread of thread and with two and um, yeah the thing is I usually combine the way I do beading uh, in one or one mirabilia uh, if I see flowers for example, in this case, I should have do, uh, should have done it with half cross, so the bead laying uh, diagonally, not straight. And uh, I'm blaming trip for this. Otherwise, I would not teach this way. Uh, like these parts, I like the way it looks like, but here. I'm not gonna restitch it. It, it when it's stretched, when everything will be done, when everything will be framed. I hope I also after the ironing, some bits I have to just take uh, tweezers and fix them. So the quality is not great. I'm not happy with that, but I'm not gonna do anything about it. Uh, because I don't stitch too many mirabilis anymore, I'm losing it. I have to go back and uh, finish my fairy idol. Um, I look at this. Uh, I look at it uh, last night, and probably fairy idol will be next. I was in thinking maybe Veronica, maybe fairy idol, but um, yeah, just showing you beats. And if you are new, oh. I missed two crosses here. I just realized it. I just saw it <laughs> again. You see, even I went through everything, everything. I still see some crosses missing. So I have to open my chart and see maybe there are bits missing. I don't know. But this is what I'm experiencing every single time. I'll find some crosses missing, some bits are missing. And here is through my really guys i thought i was done with that ophelia she's such a long long project <laughs> um, good thing i'm showing video a second time because when i was making this for russian speaking uh, followers i have not seen this missing 
five already found even more now or is there is this missing or no yeah failed <laughs> but i just want to show you something and here also some thread is coming out i usually will do it i will cut it because it, it's impossible to put it in uh, inside and then i nothing wrong with that because i fix my uh, beads a few times besides i have to uh, two strands of thread and it won't break yep have to go back and this one is fine it's on the chart like this empty space i check it check it check it check it okay this area i should have done half stitch I feel I always be surprised <laughs> and uh, I replace some bits so here I add a um, darker color this is the whole bag of goodies <laughs> for her I just want to show you the leftover of bits there are lots of them which is normal for Mirabilia that's why I am not buying any more bit bags because I have them in my stash but the bit i was uh, the back i was waiting this one to be honest i had enough one bag was enough for me little bit i needed but i could have replaced with this one so these are leftovers it was two of these bags one is gone uh, lots of leftovers this uh, 00165 it's quite popular color of bead for mirabilis um, this one also look if you have something similar you can replace it if you see it looks good why not oh i'm, I'm feeling now a little bit uh, relief and a little bit disappointed because i've seen it before i uh, take it away and uh, i saw that missing threads crosses or beads or whatever i'll check now as you can see lots of bits uh, i still have and i'm gonna use them for next projects so this is my Ophelia. probably have to make video of her just for you to see because it doesn't fit in my camera angle she's quite big well she's not small for sure and she's so different so so different and I just want to show you my bag. <laughs> it's really scary. So get ready. <laughs> this is my bag. Yep. And uh, there is nothing I can do with that. <laughs> it's scary. But it won't be visible because if I will frame it. Uh, well, I'm trying to uh, do it better, but um, improve my bag side of the cross stitch but it's not always possible because of back stitch obviously because of single crosses and to me very important how is my front looking like 